Well, have you ever had the unfortunate experience of getting in a shower and expecting to take a long, hot shower, and you get in there, and your water lasts you about 10, 15 minutes at most, and you know you've got enough hot water heater capacity to handle a full 30 minutes? Well, the problem might be a burnt water heater element. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace it. So we'll go through all the steps and the procedures. So let's get started. Of course, the first thing we want to do is to turn the power off to the water heater. That's pretty much the first thing we want to do on any kind of a job where you're dealing with electricity. Open your breaker panel. Identify which breaker controls that hot water heater. This one we can see is six, so it'll be this one. And we'll shut that down. All right, now that we've got the power turned off to the water heater, what we're going to do now is we're going to take off the upper panel and the lower panel. And we will then test the voltage coming into the upper thermostat to make sure that the power is, in fact, off. Okay, we're going to take this panel off. Take the cover off. Make sure you keep the insulation that comes with that panel. I'm going to go ahead and take this protector off. Then we want to get our voltage test meter. And we want to check the voltage across the two hot legs that are coming in from your power source which is the two top screws. And we see we still have power, so this is why you check the power. Luckily we've got a disconnect here. We'll go ahead and pop that disconnect off. And our voltage is dropped. Alright, the next step we want to do after making sure the power is turned off is we want to shut the water off of anything that's going into the water heater. And that takes care of that. Now what we want to do is to go ahead and take the pressure relief valve and relieve any pressure that's on the tank. And then go ahead and close it. Alright, now what we want to do is to pull these two wires, loosen the two screws that are holding them in. No need to remove the screws completely. And just fold these back and get them out of your way. And now we've exposed the element. Now we're ready to take it out. towel up with us and as you can see well I don't know if you can see it in here but this hose bib is right next to a drain pan and it's it's impossible to get a drain hose on here to be able to drain this tank so we're going to do this while it's got water in it so therefore that's why we have the towel we're just kind of going to tuck this down in there to catch any little bit of water that's going to come out. This is our element wrench. You can buy this at the Home Depot or the Lowe's or hardware store, wherever you're going to buy your replacement element at. And it's designed to fit that element perfectly. Now, this is the part that gets a little tricky. When you buy your new element, it's going to come with a rubber gasket. And chances are it's not going to be really attached to the threads, so you want to install that to the threads. You want to make sure that it doesn't get twisted. You want to put it on straight and go ahead and get it ready to go in. Have that element pretty close to you, because this is where the fun starts. This wrench comes with little holes on the end of it, and you put your screwdriver in there. And you want to loosen this element. Just enough where you can start turning it by hand. 
That one was a little tight. Now what you've done, you've turned off your water and you've also released any pressure that's on the water heater, but you're making sure that everything is closed. Don't open any water valves, you know, any faucets or anything like that. You want the whole system to be closed. And what's going to happen, when we pull this element out, you're only going to get a little small, like a little gulp of water that's going to come out. And you'll pull your old element out, you'll slip your new one in, and you might not even get a half a cup, maybe a cup of water, but that's what your towel is for. So we'll go ahead and turn this, loosen it up. Turn it to the point where you can turn it with your hand and get your, your, your new element ready. Now what you want to make sure is that you're going to get the old gasket out of there. And slip the new one in and thread it in place. It's that fast. Go ahead and tighten it up with the wrench. Put the screwdriver on it. Snug it up a little bit. And you're good to go. That's how much water we got. It's not very much. Didn't even go all the way through. Simple, quick, no need to drain the whole water heater. If you're fast enough, you can get it done just as quick. Now what we'll do is go ahead and put our wires back on. Snug those up. And we're good to go. Now all we got to do is put our covers back on it. Now if you want to leak check it, now would be the time to do that. Go ahead and turn your water back on. You want to check for any water drips underneath here. I would go ahead and dry that off before you do so. And you're done. Well, as you can see, a few simple tools. You can pretty much do it yourself. I would suggest being ready. And by that what I mean is Check out this list of parts that you'll need before you start this job. I'm going to put it up on the screen right now. And then whenever you're ready to tackle this, have all your parts ready, all your tools ready, to make sure you follow the instructions. Turn the power off first. Verify that your power is off. Turn the water off and relieve the pressure. Gain access to your elements. Make sure you've got the proper tools and it should be a breeze for you. This is Dan Giles with Let's Fix It. I'll see you soon.